Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about google ads ai max for search campaign so i'm going to be showing you how exactly you need to set it up what are some of the new changes that google ads have introduced why is this different what kind of functionalities you will get and how you can even collect data and review it so let's get straight into things Basically, um, I think a month back, Google introduced this AI Max for search campaign. This is like um, an upgrade from your Performance Max campaign, if you already know it, right? And basically what Google is doing is, it's going to give you an option when you're set setting up a search campaign um, that will allow you to take advantage of Google's AI functionalities to find relevant queries. Now, basically, you know that we set up you know, a search campaign that includes keywords that are either phrase match, broad match, and exact match. With what they are trying to do is with AI and Max for search campaign, you will be able to identify more keywords based on the intent. That is what basically Google is trying to do. Because there are multiple ways to search for your products and services, Google Ads will enable AI functionality to trigger your ad based on the intent and the search term does not necessarily have to be in your you know ad group google ads um, ai max will take care of that depending upon the intent now that's on the keyword side right the next um advantage is that it you will be able to um take advantage of the asset optimization so basically if i scroll down um, you will see that this is how you know you will be able to, and I will show you exactly how to do it, but basically with search terms matching, you can expand upon your existing keywords and it's all based on intent, right? Then you your ad will be also um, taking advantage of asset optimization, which is basically crawling. Google will crawl your existing website, your landing page, um, and it will come up with its own combination of headlines and description, right? So that's your asset optimization and it will help um, you know your campaign to generate new text assets like headlines and descriptions which is based on your landing page ads and keywords this is exactly what performance max does uh, to some extent and there are some options in there so they're trying to copy those you know features and bring that into the search campaign right um, so basically what they're saying is it combines all the features in ai max together to precisely capture new intent and show users relevant con content that aligns with their interest. So I think this is the next step towards, um, you know, campaign creation. I have a feeling that after this, it will be more about, you know, uh, the audience and the segmentation and trying to target the right person and really use AI all in with that aspect because Performance Max already does that but you can still add some signals but i think this is like the next gen of your search campaign all right um obviously they have some case studies about you know l'oreal trying to decrease their um you know cost per conversion by 31 percent and increase their conversion rate by 2x all right so all of that is good um something interesting i will show you now is how do you review that this right all right so that's basically ai max i'm gonna Get into my ads account and I will show you how to do that and where you can enable it. Basically click on your new campaign, just like you typically create a new campaign. And then depending upon your objective, whether it's leads or website traffic, um, you can um, get to see the next option, which is what type of campaign you're trying to run, right? So I've selected over your website traffic and um, you can configure your conversion goal now, or you can configure it later. Um, and then, I'm going to select search campaign over here. Now I'm going to simply just drive traffic to my website. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to put it over here, hit continue and hit continue. And then Google is going to ask you like, okay, what are you going to bid for? Right? So either you can select, you know, conversion value clicks or conversions. Um, I'm just going to keep it very very simple uh, let's say I'm, I'm my main focus is to drive traffic i'm gonna do that and hit next okay so right now what you're trying to do is you're basically setting up the overall targeting 
you know, I typically recommend not to enable search partners and display network because it's just going to clutter your overall reach um, and show and Google will show your ads in like random websites, which I don't recommend at all. And then you're going to select your target location, whether it's US, Canada, or, you know, you can target based on zip code, you can target based on, you know, city, state, um, and geo-targeting based on even radius. So you will select that. And then I will in I will also recommend selecting presence instead of presence or interest. All right. So once you do all of that, uh, I'll skip this one over here. Uh, this is where you can optimize ad rotation, set start and end date, schedule. All right. This is where you will get to see the option of enabling AI Max for search campaign. So right now this functionality has been rolled out pretty much for everyone. I'm pretty sure it should show up in your ad account as well. But what Google is saying is that it will help you increase your conversion rate by 14% and decrease your cost per acquisition. So engage more customers, boost performance, tailor your ads and keep them fresh. All of that is good. So the way you do that is simply enable this. That's it. So you enable optimize your campaign with AI Max and then you get two options. And again, these are optional. You can uncheck them if you don't want Google to utilize your landing page assets to come up with its own variation. So let's say you are in a highly sensitive industry like healthcare or pharmaceutical, nutrition, um, biological, biomedical, and you don't want Google to come up with random variations that will jeopardize or make any random claims. In that case, I would recommend not enabling it. If you are driving traffic to a pretty, you know, generic website, like service-based website, where your website is pretty much accurate and there's no way like Google will come up with some crazy variation. I would say it's a good option because again, it's going to in match the intent, the keyword, the assets and come up with its own variation, right? So text customization is basically, it will use text from your website, landing page, ads, and then uh, create headlines and description. And then final URL. This is where Google will determine what the most relevant URL on your website is uh, when it's likely to result in better, better performance. So it will basically crawl, you know, your website. And let's say if someone is asking for, you know, SEO services cost, for example, right? it will basically, rather than sending drive, um, traffic to your homepage, it will probably pick your pricing page. Um, or if it's about book a consultation on marketing, then it will probably pick your contact us page. So depending upon the intent and where they are in their bias journey, Google will try to uh, send the traffic to the most relevant URL and it will change it on the fly. You can even exclude like URLs, like for example, if you don't want uh, people to go to like case study pages, resource pages, or any other like news room or press release pages, you can exclude them or even like blog pages, right? So that's there. And then you, you also have control over brand. So you can have brand inclusion and exclusion. So that's again, a pretty interesting feature that Google has enabled for the AI Max campaign. All right, once you do all of that, and let's say if I hit generate over here, um, Google is obviously going to use the keywords from my website and the content, and it's going to come up with its own variations of, you know, keywords that it feels is better. All right, so again, you have full control over this. This is basically the same way you set up your search campaign. So either you delete everything and then start fresh or you can just leave it as it, is, as it is. Now, this is where things are again different when it comes to AI Max. You have search term matching. So search term matching expands your keywords to broad match and lets Google AI match content from your landing page and assets to help you show up. So I would say enable this if you want to really increase your brand awareness and it will basically use search term matching for this ad group. Um, so you have that. Um, otherwise, 
it will basically use only the provided keywords and match types, which will limit the performance boost of AI Max. So um, again, an example would be I enable this. One of the keywords that I added is um, let's say online marketing. Google and if let's say someone searches for um, digital marketing or email marketing or any other online focused marketing, my ad will be triggered because it uses search term matching to expand the keywords to broad match, right? So that's the difference over here. If you want to be in full control of, of your search campaign, if it's if every click is you know super high, it's competitive, I wouldn't recommend using this at all. All right, brand inclusion and exclusion. And again, this is at an ad group level. So again, very, very interesting. Okay, this is where things get interesting again. You can use locations of interest to reach customers searching for interest, you know, your services in an interested geographical area. At the very beginning, if I expand this, in campaign setting, we had set up campaign level targeting, but now you have location targeting at an ad group level. So again, very, very interesting, um, super, you know, you get more control over, you know, who gets, uh, you know, see who gets to see your ads. And again, I would say pretty different way of approaching your campaign. And then I'm not, I'm not going to go through all of this because this is pretty much the same. It's going to, you know, you have control over your headlines, descriptions, you set up, set it all up, uh, you know, site link, call out extension, and then hit next and you basically go live. So that's a pretty detailed overview of, you know, how to set up your AI Max campaign. Now, I want to quickly show you, um, you know, some of the data that you get. And it's very interesting because um, I have another campaign running. If I go there, I'm not going to, you know, obviously scroll and show uh, all the data because some of them is I can't show. Anyways, this is basically the search terms report that you can enable or that you can go to in your Google Ads campaign. Um, and you can see that there is this match type that Google has introduced, which, which I think it's already there, obviously. But what they have done is they have introduced this AI max match type. Now, this is different than your traditional search campaign. And on the left hand side, the keywords are pretty much the same. It's like as you are running a search campaign um, and some of them are really, really good. So I have a feeling that, you know, this version of their AI focused search campaign is much better than performance max campaign. And obviously on, on this side, you know, this is the ad group column and you will get to see like which ad group triggered, you know, um, what type of search term and, and what was the match type, whether, whether it's broad, exact or phrase. And then if it's coming from an AI max, you will get to see that. And again, you can enable or check that, add it to a negative keyword list, review your conversion metrics, cost per conversion, all of that good stuff is already in there. So very, very interesting. It's not like, you know, it's not like a, like a black box scenario. You get a lot of transparent data over here. I would say give it a shot, start a low budget campaign for your search campaign, enable AI Max, you experiment with location targeting for at an ad group level, experiment with URL expansion, review the search terms report and see like how does the A-B testing work between AI Max enable versus AI Max disable. So that's pretty much it guys in terms of Google Ads AI Max search campaign. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.